This is Bits Power High Performance Griffin 120 fan made out of LCP and capable of spinning at up to 1800 RPM whilst pushing 78 CFM at 2.6 millimeters of H2O whilst yelling at 29.5 dB. But before we dive any deeper into this puppy, let's first have a look at how it performs. Used on our hybrid case fan almost heatsink. Oh. Day. Okay. Used in our hybrid case fan almost heatsink benchmark, the Griffin managed to push the CPU down to 44.3 degrees C above ambient while spinning at max speed. And although it might not look like the world as our graph is, has begun to become quite gigantic to be honest, it's actually quite good. Compared to a 200 RPM quicker Fantex D30 in performance mode, which is also 5mm thicker, this is really not that bad. Compared to other fans in this category, it looks quite promising as well. Take the Arctic P12, which is spinning at the exact same speed, there the Griffin managed to outperform it by 6.7 degrees C. Given that our benchmark is creating hugely inflated numbers, but still it's quite a lot better and even if you divide it by 3 to get like an accurate real build number, it would still be 2. 2.2, which is still very, very good. Another important comparison would be Nokia's NF-A12X25, as it's also made out of LCP. There, the Griffin was behind about 5 degrees C. Overall, the Griffin landed in somewhat the upper third of our benchmark list, and it could actually be compared to things like a slightly throttled Fantex D30 or older Silent Wing 3 high speed. On the noise to performance side, we can see more interesting things. Like, for example, that the fan is pretty damn loud. From 100% of its max speed down to about 50, it was quite a lot louder than all the fans we were just talking about, including Ortix P12. And it's actually just behind that 50% mark that the noise to performance ratio begins to be better than Arctic's affordable counterpart. Compared to other higher class fans like for example the Throttle Down T30, an NF-A12X25 or Silent Wing 4 Pro, the Griffin just doesn't stand a real chance. Still in the upper thirds, but not a chart topper yet. Now let's talk a bit more about the fan itself. Considering where Bits Power was standing like a few years ago, I believe they made quite some advances with this fan. The packaging, for example, feels pretty solid, a good representation, aesthetically pleasing and no unnecessary clickbaity crap. And it even comes with a 5-year warranty, which is great. Inside we'll find the fan itself accompanied by a bag of screws and two extensions. But beware, here comes a little bit of crap. Both of those extensions are about 50 cm long. And while one is marked with fan adapter silence, the other one is marked as fan adapter performance. Yeah, performance. No. The silent one is just a fan speed limiter, while the other one is just not. It's just an extension, nothing more. Though I kind of see why they did it, because otherwise people might get confused and not know what silence would mean, and that way you kind of suggest that people who want performance should just go for the performance one, which is actually just nothing. I, I see why they did it, it's just, yeah, it's, it's the usual performance tag. But speaking of cabling, Bitspower used a similar approach as Fantex by giving the fan itself a quite short cable with included splitter. That way you can daisy chain multiple fans together and let the block be connected by a single cable. Very useful, especially for example for radiate applications. Other than that, all the cables are PVM and so is the fan and everything is nicely sleeved. So 
really good so far. As mentioned in the beginning, the fan blades and frame are made out of LCP or liquid crystal polymer. That's the stuff that Fantex used for the T30 and Noxia for their A12X25. Ignoring the iconic grayish color that comes with this material for some reason that I, I honestly don't know, it has the huge benefit of being a lot more sturdy and more bend resistant than the usual stuff. And therefore, what these companies are able to do is make those things, the, the wings, a lot longer until they almost touch the outer frame or make the whole thing spin at crazy fast speeds without it bending thus touching the outer frame. For the Griffin, Bits Power used it for the first case. 80$ RPM is not being that fast, all things considered, but the blades, they are pretty freaking close to the outer border. That said, being made out of LCP, they just had to make the central shaft visible. I don't understand why this has become a trend, like there is no reason to do that, but uh, you can see the middle section of the fan, because why not? And uh, oh, by the way, it's a fluid dynamic bearing behind that one. So nice fluid silent movements, but why does everybody need to like, drill a hole in there? It's, it's, why do we do that? Quality wise, I will say that the fan stands pretty strong. It comes with really thick rubber outer borders, which is great for vibration absorption. And the overall structure and ring portion is really robust, which is kind of expected given that they used LCP here. So on my scale, it's definitely in the upper 10%. But I will also say that out of the three LCP fans that I own, being the A12X25 and T30 plus this one, it is definitely by far the one with the lowest quality. Don't get me wrong, uh, it feels great, but the other two just feel a lot better. But I know where this is coming from. It's the material thickness. A fan wing, for example, measures between 0.6 and 0.7 millimeters, whereas a T30 has about 1 millimeter. And although 0.3 is really not a lot, it's still 30% more. And for the frame, a T30, for example, has a lot more of those connecting points and additional pieces that seem unnecessary, but in the end, it makes up for an incredible like structure sturdiness. And it's like a hammer replacement. And this one does not come with that amount. But again, it's really good compared to, for example, a P12. It's just not a T30. But something interesting about this is that the fan is not actually 25 millimeters thick, like 99% of fans out there. The 25 millimeters of the griffin actually come from the rubber corners which are protruding quite a bit and if you measure only the fan frame you will end up with something about 24 millimeters something which is not the case for example with a p12 another highly interesting point is the fan wing design this one comes with nine slightly bent wings which are almost flat and compared to an a12 and t30 this is just not the usual route in fact griffin shares more similarities to an arctic f12 or noctua f12 which is okay but it's interesting so so overall, the Griffin is a very interesting and capable fan. Quality wise, definitely in the upper 10% and performance wise, at least in the upper third. Noise to performance, it, it could have been a tick better, but still acceptable range once you push the speed a bit down. So as far as recommendation goes, yes, if you're looking for a solid quality fan with a good performance, and if you're looking for the best noise to performance, then it's another fan. On the price side, well, we have a problem because I can't get it here in Europe. So let's just take the price of Bits Power's own website, which is 840 TVD, which at the time of writing the script were about 25 euros and 85 cents. Add to that 16% tax because they are listing without tax. And we end up at almost 30, which funnily enough is uh, exactly what a A12X25 would cost me. So. Uh, but okay, this should be it for Bits Power and their Griffin 120mm fan. At this point, a huge thank you to them for sending it over. And if you're looking to see how it performs on top of a radiator, wait a tiny bit more because we are almost done with the benchmarks, and then we will have 
every fan represented on multiple radiators. It's going to be fun. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to keep me alive. Because for some reason, there's a cancer and reproductive home warning label on each Griffin box, and I, I don't know why there is one on a PC fan but there might be some very interesting exams coming my way now and some freezing just in case help anyway thank you for watching and if you want to continue have a look at our take on the nokia nf a12x25 hope to see you in the next one bye bye